Welcome to Summer of High Performance Computing 2020 Project 2018 and Time Series Monitoring of HPC Job Queues. Time Series Monitoring is a sequence of discrete time data. For our purpose we want to plot job queue numbers over time. This allows us to identify cluster nodes that have failed within the system. It allows us to identify time series trends and at any given instance we can count how many jobs they're running. The Prometheus architecture is used as a basis for our time series monitoring system. The HPC exporter is available in a Python tree or Golang package. Firstly, we run a HPC job queue scheduler command such as the slurm sq command. We then parse the output into a dictionary, construct a Prometheus gauge metric from the dictionary and expose the metric over HTTP endpoint. On the left, we can see the output after running the sq slurm command and on the right, after parsing the output, we can see the gauge metric exposed over localhost 8000. The Prometheus server is configured in the Prometheus.yaml file. Here the Prometheus targets and their associated HTTP endpoints are specified, the scraping time interval and the Prometheus alert manager rules. We have one rule configured when a Prometheus target instance becomes unavailable. On the right we have our mediums to where these alerts will be sent. One medium is via email and the second is via Slack notification. On the left we can see our three Prometheus targets running and the URL to their metric values. On the right we can see our single alert running which is fired when one of our Prometheus targets on our left becomes unavailable. Grafana is used for data visualization. Firstly we configure our data source which is our Prometheus instance running. We then import our JSON file which configures our Grafana dashboard. Below we can see four graphs in our dashboard each identified by job type and can be sub-identified by project name by clicking on the legend. Full system deployment occurs through Ansible which automates the whole process we have just manually configured. In addition, we have a role of a reverse proxy where Nginx is running due to machine limitations of the firewall and we are only allowed to open to external world ports such as 80. Therefore, our Prometheus and Grafana instances are running behind the reverse proxy. Additional tools used for the project were Python, pip packaging and PyTest. Tox is used to automate and streamline Python packaging. Golang testing and packaging in Go was used. Also GitLab and CICD was used to host the source code and deploy a CICD pipeline. As Carl already mentioned that Grafana is used for data visualization. It essentially allows the user to visualize graphs in different forms. For example, the user can vi visualize graph in form of Bars. They can as well visualize in form of lines depending on their specific domain of interest. In our case, we will visualize graph as sinusoidal graphs or trigonometrical graphs. The main interest of our project was to creating a time series monitoring system which essentially monitors the behavior of data points with respect to time. The monitoring system allows the user to detect anomaly within the HPC systems. For example, a user can detect when did the system go down, when did the system fail, and as well as the user can analyze the trends within the HPC clusters. For our interest, we will analyze only three different types of time series, which are essentially stationarity, autocorrelation, as well as seasonality. Stationarity plays a crucial role in time series analysis. 
A series is said to be stationary if its statistical properties do not change as time goes by. That is, its mean and its variant is always the same. In our analysis, we observed that the spec zone showed some time, some stationarity characteristics. Autocorrelation essentially is when the series is linearly related to a legged version of itself. That is, if we observe the series within an hour, then we observe it again in the next hour. If we observe the same the same series, we essentially say that the series is autocorrelated. In our case, we observed that the SKSP cluster was autocorrelated to itself. Seasonality is basically the periodic fluctuation of trends. That is, if we observe a certain trend within a certain period of time, for example, a week, then we observe we will observe a different trend within the next week and so on. In our analysis, the SLAM project Allegro showed that it had some seasonality properties. In conclusion, TSM allows to pass the data into Prometheus and Grafana dashboards which we further use to analyze the time series of different SLAM projects. The platforms also allows the user to be alert when there are some anomalies within their system.